Hey everyone, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to use switch case statement. Switch case statement is like else if and if statements. So similar, but in a different layout that the switch case will be. Well, let's use the same variable from the last video. Let's use age equals 18. Instead of if in the parentheses, let's type in switch and then make open parentheses for this and put in the variable inside of the parentheses. Then you press enter, then add a brace. Now you now you type in case. All right, case is like if if age equals equals. 18 which I'll be typing in right now it will be printing this line over here that I'm typing that I'm typing right now you are 18 now let's add another one for if else it'll be called else if but instead we just type in another case case let's do 10 like case, if case, no, no, not case. If age equals equals 10, then it should be printing out this line. Oh, yeah. Make sure after you're done with your function inside your cases, make sure you have a break. If not, then your program will be out of control after you input your age or if you use the switch case statement. It will go out, yeah, it will go out of control, which we really don't want to that to happen. Our right, type system dot out print line you are young break since we don't want our program to be running out of control. Alright now let's use default and default is like else but in this format Let's do system. What are you? Because I have no idea what to type in. <laughs> it's like saying else, and then if you don't get either of those two, then it should be it should be printing this line right here. What are you? And then after you get done with the switch case statements, include a brace, and then you're done with that. Well, now let's save this and compile it no errors good uh, you are 18 and this has been correct because since I already have 18 to my variable then then we'll be printing out this because it's like saying if h equals 18 then print this line and so on. Alright, well now let's use, uh, yeah, let's use char. Let's do name. Since this is a char variable or data type, yeah, make sure you include a single quote and then add, an, uh, yeah, you can add any character that you want. I'm going to type in Z and do the same thing over here. Well, I'm making different though. F. Z. Alright. It's like once I run this, it should print out this line. Alright, let's save that. And then let's compile and run. Oh yeah. Make sure you change your variable name over here too. Save. Compile. Run. You are young. Alright, it works with char. But if you want to use string, it's not possible with switch case statements. If you want to use string, then use the if else statement. I mean, this is bad. that's the only bad thing about switch case right here. But I heard that there's a method called hash code, but I really don't understand. Well, I do understand, but I'm kind of like a newbie to hash code. 
you can look that up on Google and you probably see, but I'm not sure if it will show up anything with a hash code solution for you. Oh right, well now let's do the scanner. Let's use scanner now. Make sure we have our scanner user variable. New scanner dot uh, parentheses system dot n. Close that with semicolon. Let's do age again. Eighteen ten. All right. Let's save that. And then. Compile and run. Switch age. Okay, I got an error for some reason. Age. Oh yeah, we got. You gotta have a function right here. <laughs> how dumb of me. <laughs> uh, let's do. How old are you? And then now you do age equals kb dot next byte yeah don't forget that because that part is vital alright ask the user question here and then have a variable from here and it'll be equivalent to whatever the user inputted make sure you have the uh, data type the following data type correct for this too and yeah this should be able to run No errors. All right, hold on. I'm 17. What are you? See, it doesn't have that 17 equal equivalent to case or age right right here. So instead, they print out this line because they don't know who I am really, or what I am. All right. So this concludes my video tutorial over scanner or not scanner. Uh, yeah, over switch case statement. Alright, thanks.